All kinds of articles were being written about the smart church and what was going on, and they were talking about what was going right, and they never saw what was going wrong. They saw the wine, and I saw the crushing. I really saw the crushing. You see, my mother was not just my mother, she was my best friend. She was my secret keeper and my confidant, and I knew everything about her, and she knew everything about me. And losing her was like losing me in pieces because we were almost the same person. Even through Alzheimer's, we could still continue to communicate. And when she lost her ability to speak English and started speaking gibberish, when I would walk into the room, she'd look at me and say, hi, baby. And I watched her fade away until she died in my arms. And I held her until her body got cold. And it was painful. And it was tough. And I still had to teach Bible class. And I still had to run revival. And I still had to preach on Sunday morning. And I still had to conduct business. And I still had to negotiate the affairs of the church. And I was writing a book by her bedside while she was in the hospital. I was writing while she was dying in the room with her, right by her side. You can't let go of one thing for the other. You have to do both simultaneously. Life doesn't stop for you to hurt. It doesn't stop turning because you lost a loved one. It doesn't stop because you don't feel good. It, does, it won't give you a leave of absence so that you can get away from everything and shut it all down. It's still happening. The bills are still coming. The problems are still coming. I'm talking about crushing people. I'm talking about pain. I'm talking about suffering. I'm talking about where the rubber meets the road. I'm not talking about church. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about life. Jesus didn't say, I come that you might have church. He said, I come that you might have life. And sometimes we're great at having church, but we're having a terrible time having life. We know how to clap, we know how to sing, we know how to shout, but do we know how to live? Wow. And God won't just be a church experience. He's going to get in your life experience to validate your church experience. So I asked myself, what does this mean? How, how would I get through this? Can I get through this? I have never had to get through this before. I have never lived a day that she wasn't in it. Not one. I have never been abandoned like that in my life. And even though I was 40, for the first time in my life, I was an orphan, a preaching orphan, a teaching orphan orphan, a traveling book writing orphan. And though he slay me, yet shall I trust him. You see, in order to develop real quality, it takes time and it takes pain and it takes endurance and it takes grief and it takes trouble and it takes turmoil and it takes destruction and demolition. Demolition is a messy thing. If you get ready to remodel your house, expect to have some mess.